Hi everyone, I'm Amog, a developer with DSC VIT. I write apps in Kotlin and Flutter and today we're going to show you something very interesting related to Flutter. It's how to use uh, Vim as an IDE for editing Flutter and Dart files. Now you might ask, why use Vim as an editor if VS Code and um, Android Studio already exist? Well, there are many people out there who are already used to Vim and who might want to use it as an IDE. Also, Vim is very, very light compared to um, editors like Android Studio and even Visual Studio Code, which, as you know, is pretty light itself. What makes Vim very convenient for users is the amount of key shortcuts and bindings it has, which makes editing a breeze for anyone. There is a small learning curve involved with um, remembering all the shortcuts, but uh, trust me, the efforts are worth it. So let me just give you an example of what Vim actually looks like. So let's just bring up my terminal over here and run Vim. Now, this is Vim. It looks just like any old regular uh, terminal editor, but trust me, there's a lot going on under the hood. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. Now, the first thing we'll need to do is install a bunch of plugins for Dart support. Uh, the plugins are necessary because they offer useful features such as code completion, syntax highlighting, language formatting tools, etc. So um, if you don't already have a Vim plugin manager, I recommend you try Vim plug, which is what I'm using at this point in time. Um, now you can run the highlighted command to install Vim plug. It's very straightforward. So I mean, just one single command. So um, I've already done that since I'm using it already. Now, um, after that, let's just go and open up our um, VimRC file. Now, you'll need to excuse all the other plugins because I do use a bunch of uh, other plugins for editing different projects, but uh, I promise we don't have the Dart plugins installed right now and we are going to go through the full step. So the very first thing we need to do is install um, the Dart syntax highlighting support. Now, uh, I have a bunch of plugins here which um, I've added to a paste bin. I'm going to copy them. Now this very first one, which we are going to add, the Dart Vim plugin, it's an official plugin by the Dart language. I mean, this goes on to show how important Vim is as an editor to the people over at Dart themselves. So um, uh, yeah, this offers syntax highlighting for Dart and we're just going to add it to our VimRC. Now this one, these two, Vim LSC and Vim LSC Dart, these offer language server capabilities to Dart. Now, a language server is something if you if you don't know it um, it checks for um, uh, type errors, it runs linting, all that useful stuff. Uh, so we're just going to copy and add these as well. And the very final one, coc.nvim, is for um, code completion. Now, coc by itself is a code completion is a it's a general purpose code completion tool. So after we install all these plugins, we'll need to install the specific Dart COC plugin. Now, if you notice, we have something here that says branch release. This is important. If you're not using Vim plug, you'll need to manually switch the branch to release. This is important. So don't forget about it. Uh, let's just go and add COC as well. Save our file and open up Vim. Now what here we're going to do is install all the plugins that we just added. So uh, run colon plug install. What this will do is it'll install a bunch of plugins that we specified. And there you have it. All our plugins are installed. Now, one final step before um, editing some code with Dart. And um, after that step, we'll just jump right into editing a Dart or Flutter project. Now the very final step we need to run before going on and getting some Flutter code is to actually install the Flutter code completion tools themselves. Now this is pretty simple. We already installed COC. Now we just need to install COC Flutter. So this is how you do it. COC install in camel case COC dash Flutter. And this will go and install COC Flutter. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's already done. So now what we're going to do is open up a new window restart them and uh, let's just head over to a 
a project that I created called Hello World. Now this is a very straightforward, like this is just a template flutter thing. So uh, I'm going to open it right now in them. Let's open up main dot. As you can see, we have gotten Dart syntax highlighting. Um, and let's just see if code completion works or not. Uh, press I for insert. And let's try typing print. As you can see, we get autocomplete and with, as you can see, it's pretty extensive. Um, this also offers advanced capabilities such as formatting your code. So um, let's say your code is messed up. Let's mess up all the indentation over here. Let's, let's get rid of this. Okay. Um, now this looks very bad, but don't worry, in just a second, we'll be getting it all fine and good. So the command to do this is Dart FMT. And as you can see, it ran and it successfully formatted our code. Now, as you can see, this uh, is such a powerful tool to edit and modify your Dart and Flutter code and any code in general. So I recommend that you try this out. Um, if not, then just as a learning experience, Try out them. It's a great editor. Thank you. I'll see you again.